Should you be drinking Diet Coke if you're trying to lose weight? We answer that question next. All right, so today we are looking at a Diet Coke and we are gonna answer the question, should you be drinking this if you are on a weight loss journey? I'm Dr. Matthew Nussi, and for over a decade, I've been designing programs and products that have helped thousands lose weight in a healthy and natural way. Our system is now available through the brand new app. If interested in becoming a client or just about our methods, you can download the app on the Apple or Android store, click Request Elite, and we can send you our weight loss application. This takes about five minutes to complete and will help determine if you would be a good candidate for one of our programs. And the links to the app will be in the description box below. All right, on to the Diet Coke review. And this is kind of a follow-up video to a video I did about a year or so ago on Coke Zero. And that was actually the most popular video on this channel currently. And it's also the lowest rated video on this channel. So you can see the rating here. Not that the rating is all that low, but much lower than most of my other videos. So why is that? And I think it's because the answer I gave of if you should be drinking uh, Coke Zero zero in this case when you're trying to lose weight was a little bit controversial, I guess. Um, so what I basically said was that you should not be drinking Coke Zero when you're trying to lose weight. And today I'm actually gonna double down on that answer for some of the same reasons, but then I'm also gonna elaborate a little bit more because maybe I was not that clear in that video as well. So as always, Diet Coke, like every other food product, has a nutrition label. That's what we need to look at first. Okay, so we'll look at the nutrition facts first, the serving size being one bottle. And this is what we, in our offices, in our programs, call a triple zero product. So a triple zero product has zero calories, zero fat, and zero carbohydrates. Now that is a really great start. A triple zero product um, gives you a good idea of if it should be approved during a weight loss program or not. But in drink products, we do want to avoid certain ingredients. So the next thing we have to do is look at the ingredients. All right, if we look over at the ingredients, number one on the list and what's gonna make up a majority of the volume of Diet Coke is gonna be carbonated water. Number two is caramel color, just to give it that nice brown color. And then we hit a snag. Aspartame is number three on the ingredients list. And that is an artificial sweetener. And to be honest, after that, in my opinion, none of the ingredients really matter. So the truth is I never recommend or advise to my clients or to anyone else trying to lose weight to drink products that either contain aspartame or sucralose. Now, in my opinion, the research is pretty clear in linking these two artificial sweeteners to weight gain. But why is this? So in this video, I am gonna focus on just one of the reasons that this is probably the case. So in this video, I'm also gonna play a little devil's advocate. I'm not gonna make the argument like I did in my Coke Zero review that potentially these two artificial sweeteners might artificially elevate blood insulin levels and make it more difficult for your body to access body fat and then metabolize it. And we're gonna completely discount the potential for these two artificial sweeteners to disrupt your gut health, which might cause systemic inflammation and can make it more difficult to digest nutrients, making weight loss harder. And we're gonna discount all other physiological processes that artificial sweeteners might get in the way with when it comes comes to weight loss. So even though I feel that there is validity to those arguments, I wanna focus in this video on just the one reason that it's almost universally agreed upon of why a diet drink, a diet soda might cause weight gain. And that is that artificial sweeteners cause you to crave sweets and it makes it more difficult to stick to whatever diet that you're trying to do. So this most likely occurs because when you ingest something sweet, especially in liquid form, it is delivered immediately into your bloodstream. Your brain then expects for you to have an increase in quick energy or sugar. 
And because aspartame and sucralose contain zero calories, this energy boost never comes. Your brain then feels cheated and it sends signals for you to increase cravings, especially for sugar, to make up for this energy deficit. So a lot of the comments on my Coke Zero review were along the lines of, well, if you just have strong willpower and resist the increased cravings, then you'll be fine. Well, in, like I said, the decade plus of me designing weight loss programs and products and working with clients one-on-one, -on -one, I found out that the coaching method of just ignore the cravings almost never works. It gives no real solution to a problem that can be extremely frustrating. If it were as easy as just ignore the cravings, then we would have no obesity problem. So the reality is that when you're trying to lose weight, cravings are inevitable. You're going to walk past a restaurant and smell your favorite food, or maybe you're watching TV and an ad pops up with your go-to snack. And we can do things like we do with our clients to minimize these cravings, things like intermittent fasting or taking certain supplements, but cravings are inevitable. And in my opinion, there's just no reason why we should do anything to increase either the intensity or the frequency of these cravings. And that's especially true because there are really good alternatives, and I've done reviews on some of these alternatives for diet soda in particular. So is what I'm saying that if you drink Diet Coke, it is impossible for you to lose weight? Absolutely not. Certainly there are individuals that can drink Diet Coke in moderation and still lose weight. But in my experience and evaluating the research, I feel that it just makes the process much, much harder. I want people to have as many tools to help them lose weight as possible. And there are some great alternatives to most of the products that people miss when they are on a weight loss journey. But I'm also a realist and my main objective is to get people to lose weight permanently and naturally so that they can be healthy long term. And I just don't see any reason why we should make the process harder than it needs to be. If you want even more suggestions on healthy, natural, and permanent weight loss, stay subscribed to this channel. Make sure you like this video as well and check out the brand new app. It's got a intermittent fasting tracker, weight tracker, preloaded with dozens of recipes good on keto, low carb, low cal, etc. All right, until next time, everybody stay happy and stay healthy, and I'll catch everyone in the next video.